In the last video, I covered Human Entertainment's game that we got here in North America in SOS. Today, we will be covering one of their other games that didn't get a release here in The Fireman, but was only released in Europe and Japan, and I'm not quite sure why. It's definitely got more action than the other firefighter game released on the Super Nintendo in the Ignition Factor. There are some pretty surprisingly complex controls on display here. You press Y to shoot upwards, B to spray on the ground, the X button throws a grenade that can be thrown that explodes almost like a giant water balloon. At certain points of the game, you have to crawl under fire by pressing and holding the A button. Keep in mind you can't use the hose while doing so. If you hold L or R, you can strafe which was extremely useful to not have to keep turning around and this really opened up the gameplay for me. Oh, and if you notice that the text is taking way too long to display, mashing the select button will speed things up for you. You have your buddy Danny who goes through the stages with you. I always thought that the Fireman was actually a co-op game, but this is actually just a computer and you can't actually control him. Do you find it strange that he's the only one that can open a door while I'm stuck carrying around the big hose? Yeah, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. And he must be wearing the most flame retardant suit I've ever seen. Nothing is stopping Buddy Boy from barreling into the flames with his axe while I sit back and relax. The storyline is simple. The year is 2010. Civilization has progressed very little. In the last 20 years, at a Christmas party in a chemical company, a fire starts by the chemicals and and well, you and Danny are sent out to extinguish and stop a massive explosion. I mean, did you expect anything else from a firefighter game? It's not like they're gonna go out and rescue a princess or anything like that. It's a fairly linear experience for the most part. You'll see on the minimap that there are some variations where you can rescue the people who are knocked out from the fire. This is indicated by the pulse meter that will get faster, almost like in the game Marco Polo. Rescuing a civilian will give back most of your health, so it's in your best interest to do so. I like the way that the screen transitions took place. Going under a passageway brought up a giant circle that easily let you see where you were going. There were a few things that made the firemen unrealistic. First, there was no limit to how much water could be used. You could be going through the room just, yeah, I'll stay away from that joke. Next, there are bosses in this game. Yeah, they were really cool, but really? So let me get this straight. You're telling me that firefighters go into buildings, rescue a bunch of people, and have to fight a boss at the end that's dancing around them while you extinguish them? That's not to say that this is bad in any way, since I really enjoyed the approachability of the firemen. Just remember to set your expectations that this is more on the arcadey side than anything. There's also a ton of different patterns that you have to recognize. The firemen is definitely a tough experience with only two difficulty modes to select from, but once you find out each of the patterns where you have to duck under these fireballs or shoot downwards at the patterns of fire spreading everywhere and it gets a bit more manageable. The game gets really tough in the later stages when the building floor gets knocked beneath you. I do wish that there was a password system that you could go and play through the later stages of the game, but sadly there's just a sound test and an expert mode. The music was really upbeat which was surprising for a game where you're a firefighter. I did find it a bit of a drag whenever you're low on health that the meter will just keep beeping until you find either your next refill or take a death. If you're looking for a top-down shooting game similar to Smash TV, you'll want to check out the Firemen on the Super Nintendo. There's also a really neat Japan-only exclusive for the PS1 that's worth taking a look if you're into this type of gameplay. I'm the Retro Kingpin, thanks for watching.